Howdy folks. For those that missed the prior video, we are descending into Venice. Just had word from air traffic, they want us down at 13,000, so we're uh, on our way down from 21,000. Uh, currently at 17,000 feet. Uh, so we took off from Rome, that was the prior video. Um, I'll see if I can put one of those little YouTube card things to pop out. If you want to go and have a look at that before you watch this one. So you can see, have a look at the map over here, show you where we are. We are heading up to this waypoint, Chi. Gonna bank around to the left. And then bank around to the right on final into Venice. We should get some pretty good views of Venice, actually. That should be quite cool. We we're at 13,000 feet nearly. Gonna start slowing us down to about 250 knots. Just because I want to try and stay ahead of the aircraft. It's easy when you're descending to descend while maintaining quite high speed. And then of course once you actually get to your desired altitude it's like, oh no, I'm too fast and all of a sudden you're in a, in a bit of a pickle. Alrighty, air traffic are wanting us down at 4,000. Which is fine by me. You hear the engine starting to drop back as we begin to descend so that we can maintain our 250 knot speed while also achieving a descent. So I think what I'll do, I'll let the autopilot, which is currently engaged, take us in on the flight plan um, down to 4000. And then we'll use the ILS into Venice. Rather than using the approach mode, I'm tempted to do it manually. So we'll uh, turn on the ILS info so we see the diamonds uh, on the display down here. Help us remain on the glide path. Gee. Got quite an interesting crosswind going on. I know we're going to turn into it in a moment. However, that's, uh, that's going to be hitting us right on the side as we try and land at Venice. So that'll be fun. Only five knots, so it's not too bad. So coming up on our first turn. Take a quick look and see what the passengers are seeing. It's a very pretty view. As I said in a prior video, this is all quite new to me, really, doing videos like this, uploading to YouTube. So leave us a comment, let me know if there's anything you want to see, anything you're seeing that you'd rather not see, maybe I'm doing something wrong. I'm approaching this whole endeavour very humbly, so uh, any advice you've got? Maybe I'm doing something wrong in the plane. Maybe I'm not flying as well as I could. I'm not. I'm not a pilot. Uh, just somebody that likes flights. Him loves planes. 
but nevertheless, very much an amateur. Try and share what knowledge I've uh, built up for myself, but fully, fully aware. There's a lot more to go. It's one of those things, the more you learn, the more you realise you don't know. Right, thought we'd better get back to the cockpit now. As we're starting to get to the point where things might get a little bit busy. So we should have a bank to the right shortly. Probably start slowing the aircraft down as well. So we want to get the speed down beneath the shallow marker. So that's our first marker for our flaps. Should aid us in our descent. There we go. Let's get the first load of flaps out. You can see the plane's now able to descend much better down to about 1,500 feet a minute, which will get us down to 4,000 feet in no time at all. Let's uh, get the ILS info on. So you can see the glide slope is currently up here. means we should intercept it in due course. Okay, let's carry on bringing our speed down. Try and get it beneath the uh, the next little, little marker there. Ready for our next set of flaps. Or the next stage of flaps, I should say. Should be beginning a turn in a moment. There it is. Making our final turn. As we head towards Venice. Keep that speed coming down. Let's bring ourselves to about 180. It's going to engage the approach mode. Just while we get things settled down here. As you can see, that diamond's right about here. It's gradually making its way down to the yellow line, which means we're about to intercept the glide slope. And you can see the runway flashing away at us just about there. We're going to do an approach speed of 140. Let's get the plane all the way down to that now. Let me get ourselves nice and stable. I see that we're just intercepting the glide slope. You can see the runway up ahead. It's perfect. I'd say we're looking pretty good. A little bit of a wind, only five knots. 
So that'll be pushing us to the right a little bit. So we just need to be mindful of that as we come in. Maybe a slight, slight crab. So we'll position the aircraft flying to the left just a little bit. Hey, look, then we can see Venice. What a remarkable place. Not sure I fully appreciated it when I was there. Because I don't think I'd fully researched it. And I wasn't entirely sure how the place was built. And it wasn't until after I got back you realised how it's built. It's like, wow, okay, that is actually a lot more impressive than I initially realised. There's a plane in front of us. Plenty of room there. Let's have a look at our instruments here. So I'm going to disengage the autopilot, do the last 2,000 feet manually. And you'll notice when we disconnect the autopilot, nothing really happens. The plane is very good at maintaining itself. So you can see we're at about seven, 800 feet per minute descent rate, which is good. Seems to be uh, good on the glide slope. Yep, spot on. Okay. need to touch our nose down just a little bit. Very, very minor adjustments. Just nose up a touch. See that diamond is going up, which means the glide slope is above us. so slightly. Ever so slightly. Get my gear down. bit of a problem. Okay, let's drop our throttles back down to idle. Get a flare. And then push with the rudder pedals to line ourselves up. We're down. Reverses. And loads of brakes. a little bit cheeky there at the end. 
perhaps underestimated it, thinking, oh, it's only five knots, but actually when it's at that kind of angle, hitting the plane, it can be a little bit more than you'd think. A little bit later than I would have liked on the touchdown there. I think it's fair to say we were stopped and off the runway in plenty of time. to do the gear so late next time. <laughs> it's less than ideal. It sort of distracted me a little bit towards the end, if I'm honest. Up here. Parking break on. Engines off. There we go. And that'll do us. As I said, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. I'm kind of in learning mode here, trying to figure out what I like to do, what you like to see, how those two can best line up with each other. Um, if you didn't like it, let me know, because I can't fix it if I don't know what I did wrong. Um, aside from that landing gear there at the end of that <laughs> approach. That landing gear should have been down at 1,000 feet, not 300. That's beside the point. Let me know. Um, drop a like if you like it. Again, that's a good way to for me to know that you liked it, that I'm doing the right thing, and it helps other people find the channel. Um, we're doing, some, doing a lot more of these videos, so subscribe, hit the bell icon, you'll get notified. And thanks for watching. I appreciate all of you. Take care.